Okay guys, welcome to another episode on your Dr. DIY's channel. So today's video, we are going to show you how to discharge a refrigerant 410A from a compressor of 2.5 horsepower and to put in a new refrigerant. Okay, so we are going to show you the process of removing the refrigerant, then vacuuming the system and then putting in new refrigerant. Right? So in the first phase, we're going to off the unit connect your pressure meter to the compressor you can see it's connected so the unit is off is showing of course it's showing slightly higher 250 by right it should be 150 since the compressor is off so now it's showing 250 psi okay no worries so we are going to discharge all the refrigerant out why we are going to do that is because the cooling efficiency of this aircon is not maximum because it has been charged with gas and liquid by right r410a type of compressor should be 100 percent charged with liquid okay liquid refrigerant so we will show you how to do that so now we are going to discharge the unit so once i have already fixed this i'm going to fix now we are going to fix the discharge hose so the discharge hose we are going since we do not have an empty tank okay so we are going to discharge it in a pail of water okay okay so we have this uh, connected the yellow hose okay so the yellow hose is going to go in the water right so you can see there are bubbles because so we are going to release now slowly so this is how we are going to discharge So we are going to wait until the pressure reduces. So it is going to take some time. Okay, so it took about one hour or so to bring down to discharge all the refrigerant. So now you can see it's about it's going to go to zero. Okay. You can see it's still uh, bubbling a bit more so in a while we are going to connect it to a vacuum pump okay and we are going to vacuum the system okay so this vacuum pump is basically 138 volts okay the speed is 1500 rpm okay so we are going to so we are connecting it to the vacuum pump so once we are connected to the vacuum pump now we are going to vacuum so this is on so we on it here so we are going to wait for it to go to one okay so zero in english below zero is vacuum so we just give it a while okay so it has been about one hour or so so you can see it's already vacuum so the vacuum is running so what we are going to do now is going to lock close the system okay so the system is closed So your system is closed now we're gonna off the vacuum right so we have off the vacuum we can take out here now so now just to bear in mind that this yellow pipe is subjected to atmospheric pressure okay so we have to remove this pressure when we are putting in the the, uh, the the refrigerant so that is why we have this valve here right so we are going to open this okay so when the refrigerant go we are going to press this until the refrigerant comes out so we can assume all the atmospheric gas in this pipe has been pushed out okay so we have only the refrigerant in 
Okay, so we have connected the pipe to the refrigerant. So the refrigerant, basically, the tank is tilted upside down because we are going to only charge with liquid. Okay, so for liquid, it is 100% for liquid because R410 should be fully charged with liquid. So now it's on, so we are going to press here to remove the the gas. Okay, so that is done. And now, icon is the compressor is off. We are going to slowly release this. Okay, to put in, you can see the refrigerant has already gone in. So we are slowly going to charge it. Right? Until it reaches about 150 or so. Then we're going to on the. So the compressor have already been on. Okay. So the compressor on. So for inverter, we got to wait for some time huh, for the compressor to run at full load. Okay. So we got to wait for some time. Why? This is because the speed of the compressor will be from slow, gradually it will go up. It is not one shot straight at full load. Okay, that is the, the difference between an inverter type aircon and a non-inverter aircon. Okay, so you can see the pressure is very low because the compressor has been, uh, is, is, is basically doing its job. So the pressure dropped, so we are simply going to add in slowly. Okay, you can see the amps also is very low, 2.6 by right it should be 8.7 to Okay, so it has been about 30 minutes or so. So after the aircon has been running for about 30 minutes now, so the pressure is exactly at 150 p psi, <coughs> and the amp is about 8.9. So it's basically in the range. Okay, the rated it says 10 ampere, so it should not exceed 10 ampere. So it's about 8.9. Okay. So with that we wrap up our work today. Okay, so this is the way how you discharge and you charge back your air conditioning. Okay, using a refrigerant R410A. So now uh, we are going to remove it. So make sure it is closed. This is closed, okay. So we may take out the multimeter, okay. The multimeter has been taken out now. 
<coughs> in order to discharge or to take out the hose first thing we got to off con off the uh, connector which is from the pump itself okay so we off it here clockwise until it closes then you basically undo the gas here okay uh, so you turn slowly until all the gas come out because this is the balance gas in the hose and inside this uh, gauge meter okay remember do not touch this because your fingers might will freeze and you will break you can see yeah this is a uh, very cool okay below ice okay so you open up this all right so then now it's all done so now you gotta disconnect the holes from the compressor here so we're gonna open up on the clockwise okay so there you are this has been opened up so this gauge now is good to be taken out okay so slowly keep it away and you can close the panel here okay and there you are guys this is the tutorial on how to discharge and charge your compressor with relevant gas with the relevant pressure and also the relevant ampere okay till we meet again be passionate thank you and god bless you